Wow. Look at that. How cool is that? Missed a sea hare there. Not sh That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever found a freak uh, volley. Natural sea covers. It's pretty cool, right? Don't think this is. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day, the water is crystal clear. Let's see what seashells and live animals we can find down under. It's a beautiful day. Alrighty guys, first shell of the day down here maybe. Uh, I haven't been shelling in about, oh, it's probably been about a week now. It's been really high tide. And look at this, we might have a little bonnet sitting down here. It is super flat, super low right now. And it is just crystal clear water. Pretty stoked to be back out. Let's check it out. A show in a week. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's got a tiny hole. That is beautiful, though. Look at that. Wow, that's actually cool. Look at that pattern. Imogen's here with me today. Look at this one. It's got a little hole, but look at the pattern. See that? A bit different, eh? It's got that tiny hole. But well, that pattern's pretty cool right there. That's nice. Awesome. Nice start to the day. It's fantastic today. Look how blue and crystal clear the water is. Maybe not right now because of that whitewash. But it's fantastic. Let's see what else we can find. Cool, man. I like that one. Still just been walking down the tide pools and look what we see here. A beautiful starfish. How cool is this? I love seeing these guys. I rarely ever get to see them, maybe once every like three months. It's actually funny enough sitting next to a sea hare. I've got my glove on so I don't get any germs on him. Look at that. I wanna see if he's alive. Oh, definitely alive. He's got something that he was eating there. Wow. Look at that. How cool is that? Mr. Sea Hare there. I'm not sure if Mr. Sea Hare would try and eat him or something. Look at those colors. It's relatively good size as well. That is incredible. Love it. Wow. All right. We're gonna keep heading down the beach. See what else we can find. Look at this strombus right here. But then as I was looking at the strombus, look at that. That's a beautiful cherry maybe. I'm gonna check out the strombus first. Oh, hello. It's got a little crabby in it. It's pretty cool. Got a dang nice home. It's a mansion. Cool, we'll leave him down here, hide him away a bit. And let's look at this cherry. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Holy moly. Look at that condition. So yeah, this is a cherry cowrie or Cipre Carnola, I believe. Very, very nice. Wow. Perfect condition. I would say almost gem. Surely close to it. The only thing being those growth lines there. Awesome. Very nice finds. All right, let's see what's down here. Look how crystal clear the water is today at this big tide pool here. Just so awesome. Look at that. Wow. We're right up close to the edge of the water at the end of the beach here now. And I've spotted what might be a really nice cherry cowrie under there. Definitely not gonna stick my hand down there bare. Uh, that looks like a fantastic cherry though. Look at those purple teeth. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna put my glove on and then go for it. So let's check it out. Give me one sec. Alrighty, got my glove on. Let's go for it. I don't see anything that might bite me down there. Oh, that feels good. Whoa, look at that thing. Holy. Whoa, that was so worth it. Look at that. That's our second beautiful cherry today. The first shell we started off with today was a cherry and it was fabulous. 
Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Look at it against the rock there. Oh. That is awesome. Look at those teeth. You can always tell the difference between a deer. If you don't know what a deer is, it's basically an orange, bigger cowrie. But if you do know, a deer cowrie, you can always tell because it doesn't have purple teeth. A cherry cowrie, you can always tell because it does have purple teeth. And usually deer cowries are a lot bigger and sort of fatter, whereas cherries are pretty long. That's awesome. What a score. That was just totally luck as well. Like it was hiding away in that little hole. Awesome. So we're about 100 meters from where we found that bonnet. Just been walking through these rock pools here. And as always, we see a little stranded sea hare. Not too far from the water. Look how dried up he is. Let's get him straight back in. Gentle with him as much as I can. He's super glued down on this one. Look at that. Super stuck right there. Take him into one of the deeper rock pools at the front here. Since it's really low tide, we don't want him to dry up at all. And I'll leave him right in this bush here. Watch the second I put him back in the water. And he opens up and he's cool. All right, buddy. See you later. Looks like we got a little triton here and I'm pretty sure it is alive. Wow, look at that. So the original uh, triton snail is attached to this rock here. Not gonna pull him off. It's already pretty secure to it. It's pretty cool though. Don't usually see these tritons with the original snail in them. It's interesting. I didn't think it would be alive since look how rough the shell looks. Oh, he's come off. There we go. See his little operculum there. It's his trap door. It's pretty cool. I'll leave him with the rock that he was on though. Cool, I see what might be a nice little decent volute shell down here. Just waiting for the tide to chill. Let's check it out really quick. Please, nothing bite me. Holy. Filled with stuff. It's actually really nice. I thought it might be uh, beaten up, but it's actually kind of freaky. Oh, lucky I didn't get in then. But yeah, it's kind of got a freak tip right there. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever found a freak uh, volute. Well, freak magnificent volute. Wow, that's so cool. Glad I grabbed it. Pretty nice color on this side as well. That's so unique. Look at that. Very interesting, eh? Drop a like for that one and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Awesome. That's really got me excited. Look at this right here. We have a little nudie branch, I believe. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? Look at that. Come and have a look. Wow, look at that. Look how it moves. That's so cool. See ya, buddy. Oh, no. All right, I gotta get this fella off. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is pretty cool here, look. We've got a couple of bushes of this blue corally bush sea stuff. And then right next to it, we got a little piece of red coral. Looks super frail. It always is extremely frail, but it's barely holding on together with that piece sitting there. Pretty cool. Like, look at those sea covers. Natural sea covers. It's pretty cool, right? Don't think this is gonna make it home with me. But uh, I'll try. Pretty cool. Look at this, guys. We got some rare Gucci us uh, glasses. This very rare specimen right here. Wow, pretty decent condition. But let's try it on. Here. Let me show you guys. Do I look snazzed or what? I think so. 